So, uh, Dan, we have one more story, and then we're going to get to Sheen. What do we got? All right, guys. This was sent in by Kevin Jordan, the sure. Anthony Jordan of love Scarborough it. County. Love no this. limits. Yes. Uh, who is at Bronx Bomber No reservations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, here we go. Maybe he's got some reservations. <clears throat> no limits is uh, Master P's <laughs> <laughs> production Master, Master, Master P's production company. He has was no limits. Here's the limit: uh, Master P playing in the NBA. Yeah, you he's got, limited from doing that. Because maybe that was a reflection of that his is love of buffets. That is the limit. All That's right. right. A drunk Florida dad stumbled into. Does any story that you ever do in this format not, not come begin from Florida? <laughs> from well, Florida or drunk couple? I mean, <laughs> drunk couple. Uh, I'm happy when they don't. Yeah. I think the last guys, the Australian guys, were stone cold. I think sober. they were sober. Yeah, they, they were, were stone. You don't cold. fill the tunnel. That's drunk. a you, you can't dig a tunnel. Because you start digging a tunnel and you're drunk, you'll you'll be asleep in that. You'll tunnel. sleep in the tunnel. <laughs> you'll be you, you you'll, you'll wake up underground. It. Yeah. All right. All right. A drunk Florida dad mm-hmm. stumbled into a strip. club club's liquor store mm-hmm. on Sunday night. Okay, well, now I caught what? seven levels of wrong in that one thing. And I don't know if we have a historian for the county, but let's but get somebody gotta on be a record. It. Here's the great part. That's not even the end of this sentence. That's okay. not, I love a it. A drunk Florida dad stumbled into a strip club's liquor store. I'm still wrapping my head around the fact that a strip club <laughs> has yeah. a liquor store. On Sunday night. Isn't that the on a Sunday. And, and left his 11-month-old baby at the establishment. Whoa! Kenneth Rowe, 26, uh, was reportedly wasted when he walked <laughs> when he walked into Shark Lounge Liquor in Daytona Beach and asked a clerk to watch his baby boy. Oh. Who says uh, baby got three lap dances that night? Yeah, <laughs> which is really not. You know, though, how long do you think? Kenny, that's what I'm going to call him. How long do you think Kenny debated this in his car beforehand? Zero. Because he probably... Zero. Well, no, hold on now. <laughs> he was like, no, he was he like, probably, leave the baby in the car. Yes, he probably, thought, a good he probably thought this was the the least <laughs> of bad things, because he could either bad dad would leave, leave him, him in the, the car, car right? right, or take him into the strip, strip club. club. No. There's a lot of women but there. But wait a second, wait a second. As he, far took him into the, yeah. he took him into the strip woman. club liquor store. But where we have gone as a nation with breastfeeding... Okay. Are most babies going to be surprised or shocked by seeing naked no, babies? No, they're not. Oh, that's a buffet for so them. Bring and by the, the way, baby. when you go to a park and you've got a baby, women just want to come to you. Right. right. Yes. right. You know? And I'm also sure him saying it's the least of all the bad things I could have done right. is going to be Kenny's defense yeah. to that baby's mother, who I'm also assuming is his on-again, off-again girlfriend. She's definitely not his wife. Yeah. No. no. no it's no, no. unclear Might whether the cousin. Kirk... Whether well, the clerk actually agreed, mm-hmm. but Roe nevertheless ditched the baby right. for the you Shark Lounge Gentlemen's Club uh-huh. connected to the. Do you think he store. just tossed it? And was like, here, hold this. <laughs> well, the clerk who who has to be the only ethical person in the country ever working at, at a strip club liquor store was like, call the cops. Call the cops. That's she right. called the cops and reported that the baby was hungry and had a rash on its face. Well, how, wait, 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 wait. How do we know if this guy isn't a gypsy? And was trying to steal her wallet. Do you know the old? Cr- that was what they always they warned us when we went to Europe in like the. Anthony mid-90s. Clark had a great joke about this. Really? Yeah. His this joke was thing? if you're traveling in Europe, there was this big like this. It used to be like the thing. Watch out for gypsies. Watch out for gypsies. They will throw their babies at you and then steal your wallet while you're trying while to catch, trying to catch, catch the, the gypsy care. baby. They'll reach in and steal your wallet. And so Anthony Clark's joke was if a gypsy woman throws her baby, you just swat, swat it, it to the ground. Swat it to swat the ground. Swat it to <laughs> the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, wow! Cops, <laughs> cops caught up with Roe. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't. Why does he caught up? You know where he is. Yeah, yeah exactly. Not hard to up. find. Yeah. Right. He's up. hanging out with Chloe in That's booth right. four next right. door. He's in, the sh- <laughs> he's in the champagne room with yeah. Savannah. Uh-huh. Right now. Okay, so they catch up with him. They charge him with neglect. The boy is with the uh, Department of Children and Families. Sure, right? of course. Okay. Better because here's also something I've I've tend to find out. You guys can disagree with me if you want. It seems to me a lot of times when there's a parent who's a total screw up, yeah. there's either on one side of the family, there's a couple grandparents who are the best thing for that kid. Yeah. Do you know what I yes. mean? Yes. So hopefully yeah. this kid's going to end up with grandpa and grandma who are just as pissed off at their son That's as right. everybody We're else. Gonna do what told you, them not to have this. We're going to do what, what you couldn't. Right. Okay. Sure. So here's <laughs> now. Here, this Those is grandparents I, are never begrudging, by the way. <laughs> to have to, they just think they're done. Yeah, and exactly. They're like, and then, okay. Okay. Here we go. Here Twenty we go. more years. All right. Oh, so they catch the guy for being third bag. <laughs> Here is what I something I took away from this. And this is what I love on the website for Shark Lounge. 
which has things I can't unsee anymore. Sure. The things I've given up for doing research for the sure. show. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they have a mission statement. Oh, good. Which is pretty awesome. I'm going to read it. The shark? This, the, they have a mission shark statement? Shark Lounge. Yes. Yes. Here it goes. Wow. It's all in caps, so I'm going to read it as though I think they want me to. Okay. The Shark Lounge <laughs> has always made the topic of conversation. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> <laughs> what have they made the topic of conversation? Know. The Shark Lounge has always made the topic of conversation <laughs> space, space, uh, exclamation point. Yeah. The exclamation point isn't even butted up against the word. There's two spaces. Okay. So then the- it says, no capitalize on the first word, for 30 years, the Shark Lounge has been Daytona's Beach number one class act. <laughs> Daytona's way, Beach. Daytona's Beach. Number one. Talk about right. a low bar. Right. Number Daytona's one. Beach. <laughs> by the way, and by, and by the way, that's, I, sell you, I sell you nice rug. I sell you nice rug. By the way, Daytona's <laughs> Beach. Number no, one. Nice guys, rug. That's not Daytona Beach. That's no, a totally different place. This yeah. is like okay. this is on the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> no, no, no. Daytona is one of the strippers. Yeah, it's right. It's Daytona's it's her, Beach. It's her beach, guys. Then, by is, the way, I don't think they were drinking. No, <laughs> no, they weren't. This is where they lay it out for you. <laughs> the Shark Lounge is for you. If you like having a good time, if you like dancing in the aisles, I don't know what that means. <laughs> dancing in the aisles, I've never. I don't think sta- anyone. Is any there stadium seats? <laughs> <laughs> stadium seats. Any fan who has ever come <laughs> to a strip club to dance <laughs> is either yeah. the most misinformed. By the man way, on if Earth. a guy gets up at, a, and I've been to strip clubs before, if a guy gets up and starts dancing in the, uh, he is immediately. Sir, t- <laughs> <laughs> you were either you were either yeah. hands behind your back, sir. You, you sir. are hey, in, the chief, you in the wrong place. You are in the wrong place. Or you are a cop. Right. So those are two things you need to do to get you out of dancing. What are you? What are you doing, Don? We dance in the aisles. We're undercover. There's no dancing sit down, in the aisles, Don. Don. This is a strip club. The point, right. Your job here is to sit. If are you sure they don't mean metaphorically? <laughs> if you like singing along with the music, <laughs> that's why everybody goes to a rap right. club to hey. sing uh, or a uh, strip, strip club, club to sing along with the music. Okay. If you like having fun with girls. And I'll, if you like no one bothering you, it's <laughs> a, a lot of ifs. By the way, if this? you go to a strip club, women are, want to, they want your money, so they are going to bother you all. Forget the, the time. women. If I'm in a strip club and everybody's singing along with the music and dancing <laughs> with the aisles, I'm being bothered. You're being bothered. <laughs> you literally just want someone to be dance grinding on you and just uh, right, God, yeah, so right. Cool. I want neon and pity. That's all. Maybe some vanilla extract would be. Yeah, extra. you'll It'll get like and you'll vanilla. get your fair. I'm going to say this, guys. We we have never been. I mean, we okay. Our only real trip, but we did a couple, but mm-hmm. is to the cabin. That's right. right. Yes. We went to the Wisconsin, cabin. I'm going to say this other. right now. If we ever go to Daytona Beach, oh, dude, Jesus, no, no. Daytona's <laughs> Beach, Daytona's <laughs> Beach. Daytona's Thank you beach. for the correction. <laughs> I, I all I want to do is I either I just want to buy a shirt mm-hmm. at this place or at least a beer koozie because yes. I guarantee they uh, sell koozie, koozie, koozie or, or koozie. koozie. I say koozie. You say koozie? I is say it a koozie? It's a koozie, I feel. You say koozie. It's a koozie, but let's say koozie. Let's say koozie. <laughs> I'm going to the Shark Lounge, and no one's going to bother me. I'm going to dance in the aisles, and I'm buying a t-shirt. All you don't right. want anyone bothering you.